we've got two absolutely fantastic uh, top quality Renaissance bronzes. Uh, we have two lithe, athletic, nude males, uh, one slightly younger, uh, one slightly older with a beard, riding on the back of these incredibly powerful, um, aggressive panthers. Well, these are incredibly interesting bronzes. They are undocumented, they are unsigned. So, of course, the great question is, who made them? Well, Professor Paul Ioannidis, I and several other experts are firmly convinced, in fact, they are by Michelangelo, and that they are early works to be dated around 1506 to 1508. So a very exciting time in Michelangelo's career. He's young, he's, an, he's in his early 30s. He's done the, the Pietà, the Vatican Pietà. He's done the David. He's just about to start work on the Sistine Chapel ceiling for Pope Julius II. And he's also just finished a very, very large, over twice life size portrait statue of the Pope that unfortunately uh, got melted down. Well, we've tried to garner as much possible evidence together. Uh, we have visual art historical evidence, we've got anatomical evidence, and we've got uh, scientific uh, technical evidence. The visual evidence is that uh, we've looked across Michelangelo's work um, and also copy drawings uh, by some of his pupils for projects that no longer survive. Uh, and the most similar works by Michelangelo uh, with these bronzes appear to be those works he made in the first decade of the 16th century. The bronzes have been analysed by um, our colleagues in the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam uh, and uh, their research has shown uh, that they are very, very thick walled. In fact, they tried to x-ray them and the walls were so thick that the x-rays couldn't penetrate. So they used a completely new imaging uh, technique called neutron imaging. So the scientists have said that um, this technical evidence regarding the fracture uh, suggests strongly that these are really late 15th or early 16th century castings. The final piece of evidence that we have is the anatomical. Um, we believe that these bronzes looked pretty anatomically perfect, uh, but we, uh, we are not experts. So we got Professor Peter Abrahams from Warwick University Medical School to come along and to examine them closely. And he has looked at them and thinks they are anatomically pretty perfect. Um, and also uh, he thinks that there is evidence of um, whoever made them, whoever modelled these uh, nude males, probably did dissection because there are certain features on the surface of these bronzes that indicate uh, an understanding uh, 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 um, and, and practice in, in dissection. Um, and he thinks that because of this, they are very likely to be before 1543, because 1543 was uh, the watershed year for clinical anatomists. It's when the great Vesalius's fabric came out, um, a great uh, atlas of anatomy published in Basel with 270 woodcut uh, illustrations of um, dissected bodies. So after that date, this book was freely available and artists could have uh, used that. Before that date, um, artists really had to rely on um, study of the human body and also dissection. And we feel that this discovery is very important indeed. Um, if they are indeed by Michelangelo, as we firmly believe them to be, and in the first decade of the 16th century, they are the only known surviving bronzes by Michelangelo. We are very, very keen that the, uh, the scholarly world um, enter into this debate. We have put together um, a case that we believe is very strong. Uh, it's interdisciplinary, it's international, uh, and we now want to be as, trans as transparent as possible. Um, we want people to come to the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge. It's free. Don't come on a Monday when it's shut, but it's open the rest of the week. Uh, and look at these bronzes and admire them for their great beauty and engage with the evidence. We've got a nice booklet that explains all the evidence um, and to really uh, look at the bronzes, examine the evidence and make up your own mind.